I bought the Jaguar. It came with a check engine light. Let's see if that still pops on for us here. I'm pretty sure I know why that's there, but we're gonna confirm using our code reader and then we're gonna try and repair that. All right, so the engine is on. I've got my code reader hooked up. This is a C Reader 3001, as you guys can see. This is a very basic entry level code reader, but it's really, really good and really simple and quick when you're just talking about looking up check engine codes. In the upcoming build, you'll see me use my more advanced code reader, which does like ABS codes and SRS codes, which are your airbag codes. But for just check engine codes, these are much quicker and easier to use. So here we go. P0400 EGR code. That's exactly what I thought it was. What we're going to do now is open up the hood. We're going to check out and see if we can't clean the EGR valve in this car. I got to give a shout out to Chris Fix. I watched his video on EGR replacement and cleaning and basically he'll show you exactly how to locate it and how to take it out and remove it. So our EGR valve is somewhere buried behind all of this stuff here. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. It's funny because on his video he did it on a Corvette, a C4 Corvette, and he could literally just slip it out just by reaching in the back of the engine bay and grabbing it. We're gonna have to disassemble a lot of this stuff here. <laughs> 